Module Ten. What's the matter? Sing a song. Vocabulary. Headache. Stomach. Stomachache. Earache. Toothache. Sore throat. Cough. One. Listen and sing. Then match. What's the matter? Hey, what's the matter? I've got a stomachache. Have you got toothache? No, I haven't. I've got a headache. Three. Play. What's the matter? Have you got toothache? No, I haven't. I've got a headache. Module ten. Smart kids. Vocabulary. Break. Fever. Cut. Bleed. Medicine. Cast. Plaster. One. What's the matter with Anna? Listen and read. Anna broke her leg. She's in hospital. Nice cast, Anna. Can we write on it? Sure. It's time for Anna to sleep. Her friends don't want to go home. Can we stay longer, please? No, children. It's time to go. Anna should sleep. That afternoon. What's the matter, Greg? I don't feel well. You're really warm, Greg. You've got a cough and a fever. We should go to the hospital. Sandy is playing tag at the park. Ouch! Sandy, what's the matter? I hurt my leg. It's bleeding. Greg and Sandy are in hospital now. Sandy, you should clean your cut and change the plaster. Greg, you should take some medicine and sleep. Greg, Sandy, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Anna. Now we can stay longer. Four. Listen and match. There are two extra people. One. Hello there, Steve. Hello, Doctor Shepherd. What's the matter, Steve? Does your head hurt? No, it doesn't. I went swimming yesterday, and now my ear hurts. I see, you've got earache. Let me take a look. Two. Doctor, I don't feel well. I was at a party and I ate too much. Does your stomach hurt, Kelly? Yes, it hurts a lot.
You should eat a light dinner and take some of this medicine. Thank you, Doctor. Three. Hello, Brad. What's the matter with Tommy? He's got a sore throat. Oh, I see. He hasn't only got a sore throat; he's got a bad cough too. Yes, he has. Here's some medicine. You should give it to Tommy in the morning and at night. Thank you, Doctor. Four. Now, what's the matter with you, Brad? I don't feel very well, Doctor Shepherd. Let me check your temperature. Hmm. Yes, you've got a fever, Brad. A fever? So that's why I'm cold. Here's some medicine. Go to bed and drink lots of water and hot tea. Thank you, Doctor. Five. Hello, Doctor Shepherd. Oh, hi there, Lisa. What's the matter? Have you got toothache? No, Doctor. My head hurts. So you've got a headache. Did you take any medicine? No, I haven't got any. Well, here you go. Take some after dinner, okay? Sure, Doctor. Thank you. Five. Look at activity four and choose a person. Then give advice. Use should. He's got a fever. It's Brad. He should take some medicine and sleep. Module ten, our world, vocabulary, socket, matches, burn, hob, oven, stairs, cleaning products. One. What should you do to stay safe at home? Listen and read. Then match the rules one to seven to the pictures A to G. Social studies. Safety at home. Stay safe at home by following these easy rules. One. You shouldn't play with knives. Two. You shouldn't touch cleaning products. Three. You shouldn't play with matches. Four. You shouldn't touch the oven when it's hot. Five. You shouldn't run up and down the stairs. Six. You shouldn't jump on your bed. Seven. You shouldn't play with sockets. Three. Listen and number one to four. One. Ouch! I burnt my finger. How did you do that, Tom? Did you touch the oven? No, I didn't. Tom, what are those? Are they matches? Um. Yes, they are. Well, Tom, you shouldn't play with matches. Let's see what we can do about that burn. Two. Hey, Fred. What are you doing there? I'm getting something to eat. Fred, be careful with that. Ouch! Knife. Are you hurt? A little. You know you should be careful with knives, Fred. Mum, Fred's bleeding. Three. Hey, Sarah. Oh, hey, Jake. What are you doing there, Sarah? Oh, nothing. Sarah, are you playing with a socket? No, of course not. Yes, you are. Stop playing with a socket, Sarah. It's very dangerous. Dad. Sarah is playing with a socket. Four. Mum, what's for dinner? I'm hungry. We're having pasta, dear. Mmm, pasta. Carrie, be careful. The oven's still hot. Ouch! Oh, Carrie, you should listen next time. 
Let me see your hand. 4. Look at the pictures in Activity 3 and say what the children should or shouldn't do. He shouldn't play with matches. Module 10. Let's play. Vocabulary. Sunburn. Jellyfish. Sunscreen. Module 10. Let's play. Vocabulary. Sunburn. Jellyfish. Sunscreen. Module 10. Reading time. Vocabulary. Germs. Microscope. Soap. Wet. Dark. Ill. 1. What are germs? Listen and read. What are germs? They live in you, on you, and around you, but you can't see them. What are they? They're germs. Germs are tiny living things. You can see them only through a microscope. Some germs can make you ill, so doctors work hard to learn more about them. Germs like to live in warm, wet and dark places. They get inside your body through your eyes, mouth and nose, and when you cut yourself. There is something we can do to stop germs. Don't touch your eyes, mouth or nose with your hands. Germs hate soap and water, so you should always wash your hands before you eat. Let's read five, modules nine and ten. Vocabulary. Poor. Rich. Wood. Cave. Rock. One. Look at the title of the story and the picture. Guess what the story is about. Listen, read and check your answers. Alibaba and the Forty Thieves In Persia, many years ago, a very poor man, Alibaba, lived with his wife and three children. Alibaba cut wood and sold it to buy food for his family. He had a brother, Kasim, who was rich, but he always wanted more money. One day, Ali Baba went to the forest to get wood. There, he saw 40 thieves with bags of treasure outside a cave with a large rock door. Suddenly, their leader raised his arms and said, Open, Sesame! The men went into the cave and a little later, came out without the bags. When they left, Ali Baba went into the cave and found many bags of treasure. He took two small bags and went home. He told his wife and his brother Kasim about the cave. Kasim wanted some of the treasure too, so he went to the cave. As he filled his bags, he said, I'm the richest man in town. When he was ready to leave, he couldn't remember what to say to open the door. He couldn't get out, and later the thieves found him there. Revision 10. 2. Listen and number 1 to 4. 1. Hi there, Emma. Do you want to go to the cinema with me? I'm sorry, Steve, but I can't. Why? What's the matter? I will. Yeah, it's probably the burgers and the chips I ate at the fast food restaurant. You shouldn't eat junk food. It's bad for you. I know. Get well soon. Bye. 2. Hey, Debbie. What's up? Nothing much. Don't tell me you're ill, too. Yes, my head hurts and I have got a fever. You should take some medicine and go to bed then. I will, thank you. OK, take care. 
Bye. Three. Hi, Liz. Do you want to go to the cinema? Oh, I can't, Steve. I went swimming yesterday and I got water in my ear and I can't hear anything. You should be careful when you go swimming. All right then. Get well soon. Bye. Bye, Steve. Maybe another time. Four. Hello, Sue. Say yes. What? Just say yes. Say you're coming with me to the cinema. I can't, Steve. I don't feel well. Why? What's the matter? Have you got toothache? No, my throat hurts really badly. What is going on here? Everybody is ill today. Who am I going to go to the cinema with? I'm sorry, Steve. Okay. Bye. Module ten. Workbook. Let's play. One. Listen and write the names. One. It's a nice day today. Yes, it's beautiful. Are these all your friends? Yes, they are. Who's that boy playing with matches? That's Craig. Craig, you shouldn't play with matches. It's dangerous. Two. Are you going to go swimming? No, I don't think so. There are jellyfish in the sea. Someone is going swimming. Where? Right there. A blonde girl is going into the sea. Oh no! That's Alice. Alice, don't go in. There are jellyfish in the sea. Three. Look at that. She's got sunburn. Who? The blonde girl in front of the boy eating the ice cream. She's collecting seashells. Kira, Kira, go put your T-shirt on. You've got sunburn. I guess Kira didn't put any sunscreen on. Four. Let's go play with Sherry. Who's Sherry? She's the girl with the brown hair. She's playing in the sand. Is Sherry the girl that's next to the fire? Yes, it is. Sherry, you know you shouldn't sit close to the fire. Come over here. Five. I'm hungry. Me too. What would you like to eat? I'd love an apple. Matt brought some apples. Where is he? Is Matt the boy cutting an apple with a knife? Yes, that's him. Matt, Matt, be careful with that knife. Module ten, workbook, reading time. One, listen and say. We wash our hands to keep them clean. The cleanest hands you've ever seen. Use soap and water. That's the way. To chase those yucky germs away.